We're going right in. Are we already on? Are we live now? Yeah, I think it should be on now. Let's find out. Yeah, because I got I got the little I got the little four piece uh, camera going. Hell yeah. We are we large and in charge right now? Are we, oh yeah yeah we're we make oh yeah we're here. All right. We're, obviously Grab the you. disclaimer guys. DD214 cannot warranty the expressions and suggestions of the content as well as its accuracy. In addition, to the extent permitted by the law, DD214 Gaming shall not be responsible for any losses and or damages due to the usage of the information on our website. By using our website, you hereby consent to our disclaimer and agree to its terms. The links contained on our websites may lead to external sites which are provided for convenience only. Any information or statements that appear in these sites are not sponsored, endorsed, or otherwise approved by the DD214 Gaming Group. For these external sites, DD214 Gaming cannot be held liable for the availability of or the content located on or through it, plus any losses or damages occurred from using these contents of the internet generally. Opinions expressed are our own and we do not represent any DOD or US government entities as a whole. Each individual opinion is their own and does not express their expressions of DD214 Gaming. This channel is produced for mature audiences only. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. There you go. Because we, we, because we grab asses to make people happy. Yes, so, we do. Mature audiences. Yes, we do. And <laughs> we, swallow the, we swallow the homies goodnight and we grab asses to yes, make people we, happy. Yes, we do. And <laughs> happy 4th of July, everybody. We're here. Absolutely. We're Absolutely, here once yeah. again. How you doing, man? How was your week? I'm doing okay. Just celebrating the 245th anniversary of uh, the independence of our great nation, man. So is it I've two, been having a good. Is it 245? 245. Yeah, 245. So in five years, we'll have the 250th in uh, 2026. That's going to be so crazy. Be, yeah, it's going to be a party, man. It's like stay alive for five more years man and freaking we be, have, be worth just, we're, we're right at the bitter end guys we're right at the bitter end yeah absolutely so yeah how was uh how was your week oh man it was pretty good you know just did the the work sees and um actually funny funny thing we have uh we have cake in the oven today cake what kind, what, what kind of cake funfetti cake Funfetti cake. Yeah, you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to enlighten me on that. I've never heard of that. Oh yeah, so funfetti cake. It's just like regular vanilla cake with sprinkles inside. Uh-huh. The best cake. Oh, okay. Just that simple, huh? Yep. Just like yep. That, that's that, it. That's that. Okay. Too, okay. Too, okay. Too easy, man. But uh, I can it, dig it. Yeah, it's it's, it's been a great week. Watched uh watched a couple shows. Um. I'm not sure if you've watched it yet. Have you watched Loki yet? No, I have not. I keep seeing your I keep seeing your posts on your uh, on your Facebook feed. It's it's uh, so cream, hard. Cream your pants. It's so yeah. it's so hard not to spoil this show because it's just so <laughs> it's so all over the place. But it, everything makes so much sense. But it's just okay. I remember months now, ago. To, now, now, would you have would, would you have to would you have to uh, be plussed up on the the Marvel Comics universe to understand um, that show, or if you want to understand, I, I think it would be wise for you to be caught up. Oh, is it cold? Yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out of here! Oh shit! An icy slush, baby. Look at that. What? Icy slush I, I on the fourth. Like on the fourth of July. Oh yeah, you got this shit at Walmart or Walgreens or something. What? We're not affiliated with the sponsor, sport. guys. He's badass, dude. Yeah. So, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, it would be it would be wise of you to know what is going on in the Thor movies and the Avengers movies to understand okay. what, what what's happening here. You don't have to watch okay. WandaVision. You don't have to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's okay. But you should be caught up with the with the Avengers and the Thor movies if you want to enjoy this because. It is. It is so special. Are there? Do they do, now? Do they drop like? Are there some good Easter eggs? I know you don't want to ruin anything, but like, are there Easter eggs in it? Like that you'd kind of like. If if I had to make a prediction, we're gonna see Galactus within the next year or two. Shut the fuck up, dude! That, that would be bad fucking ass. You know, I if, used to like 
when I was a kid, when I, when I was into comic books when I was a kid, like Galactus was actually one of my favorite characters. Yeah. And like, yeah. And I, if you know, it just seems like all points lead to it. Unless they have, you know, there's other obvious choices. If you if you're follow, if you're following the show and the comics, there's other obvious choices that might come before him. But it, it does seem to oh. me that it's all leading up to it. And there's just okay. there's there's something so weirdly beautifully poetic about Loki that makes it so different from everything else. And it's it's truly okay. it's truly a beautiful 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 story. I tell you, I, t- I, t- I tell you what, John. You know, you know what I love about you is the way you describe things and the and how into into things you get. Whether it's a video game, a TV show, a movie you've seen, you make me want to fucking watch it just by virtue yeah. of like how into the shit you are. You get, yeah, you this, get so into shit. You know, like makes me want. Like I, I, I watched Falcon Winter Soldier because of you. I, I probably and, it, and, it's, and it's so good. It's so good. And it was good. Yes, and you were and you were and you were correct. And you were you were absolutely like spot on with your with your assessment. So like I can't say you were wrong. So it, it, t- it touched a lot of the deep things. And here's my here's my message to Disney Plus. Don't make any more movies. Give us this. These yeah, shows, TV, you know, TV shows with comedy characters. Yeah. Yeah, I could deal with these six episode series. You know, I could deal with them. There's so you know you have more time to tell a story, and and I gotta say Owen Wilson is fantastic as Mobius. Fantastic. Does he say wow? Does he say wow? You, you want, know, like the, the Owen Wilson like wow? Yeah. You want to know, you know something? Like, you want to know that? something? I think there were a, a lot of moments where he had the opportunity. I don't think he said it. Really? Yeah, that's but, funny. But he's you very, almost think they would throw that in there, just like a little Easter egg of its yeah. own. You know? Oh, but, but the, the Owen Wilson like wow. Yeah, but there's you know, there's I, t- there's tons of Easter eggs. There's a lot of um, in- inclusion. It's very inclusive, which is very 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 cool for Disney to to be like, hey, we're cool with this character being this type of person. Go for it. Okay. You know, it's it's they they did the, and it works well with the character. They they just. They did just, man. They did just such a good fucking job. Are you talking about like, um, are you talking like sexuality wise and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. And so are you familiar? Are you familiar with the not not the Marvel comics version, but the actual story of Loki, like from the Nor- Norse oh, mythology? Oh yeah, yeah. They follow it. They follow. Yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, you know, you know, he turned into a horse and like had sex with another horse, right? And like, I think he gave birth. To, I think he gave birth to uh, so a wolf. Here. I think, or was it was it a wolf? He he, g- I, he gave birth to a wolf or something like that. Yeah, and there's was it, slip, I want, was it Slipnir? Give me a second. Yeah, give me a, I'm sorry, give me like two seconds. What's going What's going on, Cairo? Good morning, Fourth of July. Deshaun Myers. Oh, really? Deshaun Myers says he won't say "wow" according to the producer, which is believable. You know, really. So they made so they made sure he wouldn't say wow basically like, they're doing that on purpose and you know for shit yes maybe? Loki yeah Loki Loki is the father in, in in Norse mythology Loki is the father of Slipnir Slipnir is the horse that Odin rides that takes him like across the Rainbow Bridge yeah. like okay so so it's no F- Fenrir yeah so it's no it's no secret okay so it it's no secret then that that they went with the with the gender fluidity of Loki for this yeah, show he would have to be. Because he, he, he yeah, in, in several of the stories he changes shape and form. Yeah, but in Norse, in Norse mythology, yeah, to, and there's to do all that stuff. So. And, there, and there's a lot of interesting stuff that happens. So I highly suggest you watch it. And and it, and, it, and it explains the multiverse the way it pretty much like dumbs the multiverse down to be like, okay, motherfuckers, this is what the fuck it is. Right. We're, th- there's right. no other explanation. Like now you understand. It, it explains what the avengers the time heist in the avengers it explains that why okay. they they explain why they did it and it's 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 pretty cool it's pretty cool that's man. Awesome, man you know that's awesome you you know what else is pretty cool how big how much of a sore fucking thumb i stick out like in the midwest <laughs> i don't even i don't even think i don't even think i'm like doing anything you know i'm just i'm just being i'm just being me out here you know what i mean like and it you know, like my 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 girlfriend Nikki, she like she like laughs at me because of how bad I stick out out here. And like I don't, even, I'm not even like I'm not trying to do anything. I just apparently it's how I look or how I carry myself or something. But it's it's obvious that I ain't from around here. Oh shit! 
<laughs> so, okay, so how do they dress over there? <laughs> well, where we're where we're at? Because I know is, you're a black shirt, black jeans kind of guy. Yes, and so where where we're at specifically right now? Not a bad location. Beautiful people. Like beautiful. The area is gorgeous, and it is absolutely the the, the view from that I'm looking at right now from her parents' house is amazing. Um, it's it's very it's very working class here. So if you can imagine, like the it's like farm it's like the farmland basically where we're at. So you you have a lot of imagine. farmers. So t shirt t shirt jeans boots you know or work I would say work boots you know truckers caps you know like it's oh very, man. A lot of the uh, a lot John of the, Deere. Uh, males. Yeah, a lot of the males around here they do the thing where they, they wear the shirts where they've got the freaking they've got no sleeves. So like every every like every like third dude walks into like the fucking gas station looking like this and there's like I, I kind of like okay 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 you know whatever. Like, so you may be the only of, person yeah. wearing sleeves in the Midwest right now is what you're saying. And probably black too, yeah. Like, <laughs> everywhere very color, very color, very colorful shirts, right? Like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I guess I, I still got like a sore thumb up here. I like so, the high and tight, man. Yeah, man. I uh, I didn't. So um, I I was able to move my vacation up by about forty eight hours. So I was originally going to leave on Thursday. Instead, I left on Tuesday. Oh, here and we by, go. By leaving by leaving that day early, I had a haircut appointment on Tuesday with my stylist. So when I got out here, when I got to Kansas City, I went around the corner. Uh, to uh, my girlfriend's stylist, and and he cut my hair, and he he did a pretty good job. Um, he did a pretty good job. I kind of teach this kid how to do like a proper fade, but aside from that, though, he did very good. He did very well. That's so pretty good, I'll man. Going back to him another day. There you go, man. So uh, you got to you got to see Shohei Itadi in action this week. I did. I did, and well, he didn't do too hot that night. He he didn't have a good night pitching. So. Yeah, yeah. The he's been he's been. He's been getting pretty rough with his pitching, yeah. Lately, struggling on the mound a little bit. Yeah. Lately, but yeah, his yeah. We were we were in a um, we were having uh, uh, drinks uh, that night. I had just gotten into town and we went and met uh, a couple of my girlfriend's friends and and yeah, we sat down and I was watching. We were watching the Royals game, but the Angels game was on as well. They're and they were playing the Yankees of all of all teams. They were playing the Yankees that night. And so, uh, yeah, and Sean Sho- Atani was on the mound. I was like, oh, sweetie, look, there's the guy that John always talks about. But he didn't do so hard. Yeah, that, yeah, so. yeah. But uh, he, you know, when he's, when the guy, when the guy is fielding, man, the guy, the guy is a sight to see. So if you ever, if you ever get the angels coming by your town, make sure you see them. There was actually a very controversial um, thing that happened this week in baseball. I don't know if you followed the. The man who is the forefront of the spider attack has give, been given a seven-day suspension due to a a sexual abuse allegation. What? Yeah, and and, and I mean, I'm not going to get deep into it. Um, all I'm really going to say is that here we fucking go. In the situation, there was a lot of consent made for a lot of violent sexual fantasies, and okay. I, and you know, I mean, from what I can get on board with that, I can get on you board can get on board that. with that. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and it, it's a very consent, it's a, cons- consent is always key, and this, I don't think that's a perfect. You know, that's exactly yes. what it comes down to. Is if you, if you are going to engage in adult fun time activities, and if those adult fun time activities happen to include uh, some potentially violent or having the appearance of being a violent act, yes, attack, yes, you need to make sure you need to make sure not only a both parties are on board, but b both parties fucking enjoy it. Because if yeah. both parties don't and- fucking enjoy it. Somebody, somebody's going to have a not good time, Whether, and it doesn't matter if it's the male or the female. And that's both and that's the it. weird part about the situation because there is shown in many documents and text message that both consenting parties enjoyed what happened, but appar- okay. apparently there was a lot of there was a lot of marks that were there, and then there was a lot of other stuff that there was. Might be. Then there, there was might a, be. yeah, you know, and then there was a, a lot of other stuff that was apparently not consented on and stuff i'm not gonna get into but all i'm just gonna say that people are fucking freaky bro <laughs> well, well let's not okay well you know we're, we're, we're podcast brothers bro but don't don't fucking judge me all right like let's, no, call, him, let's call him that no of let's course that, no, no oh, i'm not judging jay i'm judge not judging 
I'll, t- well, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you what's funny too is uh, so according to the army, so <laughs> been in the been in the army for almost twelve years now, right? And you know when we go through our, our sharp classes th- for the sexual harassment, sexual assault classes, we do it quarterly. You know, by by law, basically by regulation, we do sharp classes quarterly. Over the years, I've watched these sharp classes kind of evolve, and it used to be as simple as like you're a dude, don't rape anybody. To where now it's like this. They go they go like in depth in the shit. And here's 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 what Ooh. the army says about consent. Here's what the army says about consent. Consent can be given all the way through. You could be even in the middle of an act. The minute consent the minute consent is withdrawn. The minute consent goes away. If you do not immediately cease and desist all activities, you are now sexually assaulting. So you can be you can be in the middle of an act, and as soon as they say no, what again does you know gender does not matter, male, female, yeah. whoever. As soon as they say I'm done, I'm not having fun anymore, whatever, no, they say no, it's over. I like that. And the minute, and the minute it, I do too, that's exactly how it should be. And the minute you cross that line, once somebody is with withdrawn consent. The minute you cross that line, you have now entered sexual assault territory. Absolutely. And that's, that's kind of the way it should be. And that's basically what it sounds to me like. You had a couple of freaky deekies that like to get down and dirty, which is fine. Yeah. Adults have adult fun times. You know, like, that's okay. That is okay. But you can be in the middle of an act. So if, 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 if I'm getting my ass whipped with a cat of nine tails, and all of a sudden it starts to sting just a little bit too much, you know, I'm getting spanked just a little bit too hard, right? I don't like it. And I say, hey. I want to stop. This is not. I'm no longer comfortable in this action. Consent is and withdrawn. That's it. Yep. The next, the, the, the next time that freaking that whip comes across my ass, I'm now being sexually assaulted, basically. Yep. Yep. So, so I, and I do, and, and I do like that because it does. It gives the power to anybody who feels uncomfortable. Both, 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 both parties. It gives power to both parties. That that's that's good, you know, and and you know, it's. We're we're coming to day and age that we're every every little detail we should be yes. aware of, so that's well, it's like, like you said, they've got they've got stuff probably text messages, they yeah, probably oh got yeah, screen, they probably got screenshots, they probably got videos and you know fun time pictures that were probably exchanged, and they got probably got all that. But if even one time somebody says no or stop or slow down or whatever, I don't like it anymore. Consent was then withdrawn. Yeah, so, and that's that. There, that, that is that. That is that. It doesn't matter what you do, or everybody gets down behind closed doors in their own way, and that's okay. Absolutely. Some people, some people like to play games. Some people like the real vanilla. Like we're gonna, you know, we're just we're just gonna get it done and just yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do this for purposes of making babies only, and that's fine too. If that's your if that's your bag, you know, that's not really my bag. I, I like to have fun, so whatever. Like absolutely. I like to have, I, I like to have lots of fun. Yeah. Like and I just I, it, I, I be short. And I just want to give big ups to the to MLB for acting quickly on the situation. You know, they, you know, uh, Trevor Bauer didn't appeal the decision. You know, uh, everyone seems to be on board with understanding that the investigation is happening. And you know, they were just like, "Hey, okay, so you, you know, you're you're not pitching." You know, this week. that was my that was my next question. Like, is it so? Is it under investigation, or was was stuff admitted to, or like, what's the what's uh, the? Well, it, it, from what it looks like, every. every Every everyone's been telling the truth, and no one has been saying you're lying. You're lying. Okay. You know, so so, he's owning, so at least he's so at least he's owning up to like his part of it. Basically, like he's saying like, here's all my stuff. Like this is what happened. This is my my I guess my side of the story. Yeah, be- yeah. You know, and MLB worked quick. They're just like you look. Okay, you know, you're not pitching. You know, we. You know, it's not a good idea. You know, and you know, people, people, quickly get aggressive. You know, so they, yeah. they, 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 you oh, know, gosh. you know, we've seen in the last couple of weeks NBA players getting stuff thrown at them during the games, food, items. You know, so what? You know, what would happen if Trevor Bauer went out on the mound? But yeah, you right. know, it's oh man, it's it's it's, 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 it's a very it's a very interesting situ- It's a very interesting situation. It's it's kind of confusing a little bit, but. You know, uh, good on MLB, good on everyone being honest, yeah. and that's that. You know, um, I got some. Oh, wait, we have your currently hydrating damn fruity drinks. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Fruity drinking well, fruity drinks. So, what, what fruity drink was it? Because, like, when we, when when I was, you know, when I was sipping on the tea, fruity drinks was my thing. What did I like, baby? What that? Da- I like daiquiris, right? 
Yeah. Speaking of, uh, well, it's not really fruity, but uh, for a little bit of celebratory purposes, I can't really drink too much because we course. have a little bit of a drive ahead of us. We're gonna be we're gonna be leaving shortly after the podcast to go back to Kansas City, but uh, I, got, I got a Royals game to catch today. So, but this is um, let's go. This is called this is called Templeton. This is Templeton uh, Rye Whiskey. I got a uh, I got about a finger of it um, in my cup left from last night. So I was like, I know I'm not pouring that out. I'll I'll save it for the podcast and I'll have a I'll have a couple sips of rye whiskey. Nice. It's getting for, uh, it's for, getting for, all that flavor. Breakfast. It's getting all that flavor. All the flavor, baby. It's gonna all have it's gonna have all that like that air and that's a nice cup too man oh yeah yeah well, it's a nice little tumbler and we actually were believe it or not john uh, you you came up last night so i was talking about how when you when you when you come here in uh in august when you get here in august how i didn't want to i didn't want to interrupt your your streak basically absolutely because we were we're, we're we're so very proud of you like you, it's, it's almost august now it's july now and You've made it all the way to July, and like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, how, I mean, t- tell me how much. Tell me how much better you feel though by like when you you stop drinking at the beginning of the year, and you, how much better do you feel now? You know, you haven't drank like seven, seven, seven and a half months basically. Do you know? I think the biggest difference, and this is something that like my wife and I spoke about that the biggest difference about not drinking this long is waking up in the morning, uh-huh. and like just feeling clear. Yeah, just like re- regular. Maybe you know, I mean regular. There's a word for that, John. It's regular. Yeah, yeah. You that's, know, like you don't. That's how you, you're supposed you, to wake up. You ever, you know, <laughs> you you don't feel like you're you got a you got a a, a fish bowl of whiskey in your stomach, and you know you're all like, "What the fuck happened last night?" You know, one of those things. You know, it's it's that's the biggest thing because you know, and it was funny because we were actually talking about this last night. How I love to stay awake i love to stay awake and it's very rare when i now choose to stay up till three four o'clock in the morning you know and that's just you know with work and everything and how now that i'm older i would highly choose to sleep my six hours than stay up all night and play video games or something like that right so you know that i it feels great. I and it, I haven't had a whiff of it, and it's so weird because like so many people at my job ask me if we sell alcohol in our store, and uh, from what I hear, it's a pretty common thing outside of New Jersey. Out west, yes, yeah, very for, common out west. for retail yes. stores to sell alcohol. So and you know, <laughs> I you know I think maybe uh, three or four times I, I have had days where I'm just like fuck, I really need a drink, but. It's been it's been it's been great. It's been great being yeah. able, you know, and I hope I hope I'm speaking the same for my wife too. But she, you know, she's been happy. She's been Good. happy. So Good. That's what we, that's what we want to see. That's and, and it's and it's always okay. And like we, we we always encourage our brothers and sisters. Like if you're if you're having issues, if it's time to take a break, take a fucking break. Yeah. Take a take take a knee. Drink some water. You know, just like we did in the fucking service. You know, take a break. There's no, yeah. Nothing says you got to fucking party every night. You know what I mean? This I just like, read that someone from a from a rock band just um, celebrated twenty years of sobriety. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of them. Maybe, I can't. Oh, you'd, be, you'd be shocked. I can't, there's some there's, there's it, actors out there that was, there's actors that have like thirty years of sobriety or some shit. Like it's it's think, beautiful. Uh, Rob, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe has like fucking thirty years of sobriety. Rob Lowe, really. Rob, Rob fucking yeah, Rob fucking low has like a shitload of sobriety under his. How low could Rob low low? Dude, he dude. Well, he got in trouble. I don't. Even, you might have been a little too young, but I remember when he got in trouble as a young actor, and he got caught doing a bunch of stuff, and it was like career-ending shit. Like his career could have like been, like been like, like how what happened with Robert Downey Jr. Yes. Oh, oh. oh very, same, same, totally same. It's like, and and they make these they make these comebacks. It's always good to see. Not just actors, but you know, sports figures, entertainment figures, whoever. It's always good to see somebody take take charge of their own life and and get, I guess, the help that they need. And if you need to fucking take a break, take a fucking break. You know, like we sit we sit here and you know, this is almost a uh, this is almost a stereotype. You know what I mean? Like the uh, the, uh, the 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 functioning the functioning alcoholic veteran. But here on here on our podcast, you know, me and John kind of uh, you know we, we we are ourselves, but we kind of play caricatures of ourselves. 
a lot of times here on the podcast. So Extensions, that's where, if stuff like that. If yeah. It, yeah, I mean, if, if it, 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 you know, where I am, it's it's fucking eight forty five in the morning. Now, on a normal morning, I'm not going to have a tumbler full of fucking whiskey at eight forty five in the morning. That's just not. <laughs> that's just not fucking normal in my life. But for purposes of the podcast, and just like the disclaimer says, for entertainment purposes only. I play kind of a caricature, and I'm the fucking stereotypical fucking grunt veteran that, you know, might have a tumbler of whiskey at fucking nine o'clock in the fucking morning on a Sunday, right? So that's that's a caricature thing. But the reality is, we're talking about a drug, and we're talking about something that's very serious in life. And when you're in a, you become an adult and you have adult responsibilities like fucking children and you know a, a significant other, a spouse, you got to take care of stuff in your life first. And a lot of times these these drugs they get in the fucking way. Yeah. And if they're they're getting yeah. in, if they're getting in the way of your life, take a fucking break. Just take a fucking break. It's not a big deal to take a fucking knee once in a while and just chill out on, on shit for a while. Like every night doesn't have to be a goddamn party. So, you know. But yeah, just you know, we we're 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 very we're very proud of you and we, we talked about you last night. I was telling I was Thank telling you. my old lady, I was like Well, I was telling my old lady, I was like I know they don't care if we if, if we have you know, if we're sipping on beers in front of them, I was like, but I don't want to fucking oh, yeah. sit there and like throw it. I'm not trying to throw anything Thank in his you. face when he gets here because I, I'm, I'm proud of him. I want him to fucking stand stand fast until the end of the year because like you, you basically said you're going to go at least a year, right? Oh yeah, you're going to do a year. Oh yeah, fucking yeah, and yeah. And that's like when you've got when you've got stuff to take care of in your life, like kids and responsibilities. Like every night ain't got to be a fucking party. We can still we can still party. We don't need alcohol to yeah, party. Yeah, absolutely. Know what I'm and, and 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 it's so crazy, you know. Like speaking of parties, like this week. Um, I had a real blast reconnecting with 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 some people that have like some of my overseas gamer friends. Okay. And we okay. Had, we had a pretty exciting. I wish I could play the audio that was recorded, but it's okay. it's. Yeah. I'm actually I'll I'll send it to you, but it's actually pretty. It's pretty fucking funny. Um, Check that but, out. But you know, um, but I had the. I, I'll leave the Xbox Cloud review for the last review. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I look forward to that too. But this week I had I had the honor, and actually I got to play with uh, with our our dear friend Geo from Mercia's Fragment. Awesome. Who? Oh, yes. Now, th- this is a disclaimer for everybody. Okay, if you tell me something, I'm gonna talk about it on the air. So, <laughs> if you know, if you don't want the world to know about it, don't tell me. So I'm sorry, Geo. But in the middle. Of our game session, he got called to a band the, a, a band practice where they are working on the new on the new album. Awesome. Um, I I I'm not gonna say if I heard anything or not, but what I'm gonna say is that it's 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 heartbreakingly destructive. Oh, I, I oh I I love that little word package you just fucking put yeah. out there, like heartbreakingly destructive. Yeah, and so we definitely we definitely look forward to the a, a, a new album by RCS Fragment. Yeah, yeah and um, man, you know some of the stuff that that I learned, I'm I'm very I'm very excited. I'm very excited for them, and my apologies. Oh no, you're good. I'm very excited for it, and, and I'm hoping very soon we can have him back on the show so he could talk about that and give us a rundown of what's going on. And my phone is not behaving right now. I apologize. At least it's not the bird. There we go. Yeah. So I had the I had the pleasure of being introduced to a few games this week by a couple friends. Um, the first game that was introduced to me is called American Truck Simulator. Okay. Um, tell, I, me, tell me about tell me about American. That's that's like the most American sounding fucking game ever. Yeah, okay, and, and, let me, and let me tell you, I wouldn't be sitting, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here today telling you about this game if I didn't enjoy it. Um, okay. Surprise! Okay. Now I hate driving. Okay, I hate driving. My wife drives me to work about seventy percent of the time. I hate driving. Okay. And you know, my boy Joe was just like, "Hey, man, you know, I'm playing American Truck Simulator. You gonna play?" It? And I'm just like, "No." He explained a few things to me, so I'm just like, "Fuck it, I'll play it. Let's play the game." Okay. I start playing it. I get a little confused. I crash. I crashed a couple things while trying to deliver a couple pallets. No big deal. 
but then I started to get I started to to handle the game, and that's when the fun started. Um, the the cool uh, what's really cool about the game is that it's very realistic. So um, I was driving in Pueblo West, Jay. One of the one of the maps one of the maps in the game. Um, actually, it goes through it goes through a world it goes through a United States map, and mm-hmm. so, so one of the main maps I'm unlocking Colorado. So one of the cities that I'm driving through is Pueblo West and Pueblo East. Yes, it's, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a real place. That's yeah. where I live. Yeah. So <laughs> what's really cool is that I'm driving through these cities. I see the gas stations. There's traffic. There's actual traffic. If I go through a red light, I get ticketed. Now I'm a truck. If I if someone hits me, I get ticketed. You know, um, the the mechanics on the game are very very real. You could play you could play simple automatic, which does automatic automatic all the automatic for you. You could right. do real automatic, where you actually have to change the shifts from automatic to drive, or you could do manual, which. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you if you want to fuck somebody up real quick, man. Uh, Put their put their asses in a fucking in a in a in a in a tractor a tractor trailer truck or a, a trailer truck you know like a big rig and tell them give them the keys and, t- and say like go ahead start it up yeah see if they can even get it started yeah well, well those well, trucks are not like if you don't like you don't know how to freaking like sh- shift those those gears like the truck won't even start well I mean <laughs> look look at look at our vehicles if you give a civilian a Humvee and if they find out that special thing that starts or doesn't start yeah. the Humvee. You know they would never, never know exactly. Like, you know, there's no place to put the fucking keys. Yeah, what, 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 what am I doing here? You know, what and I it's do? the same thing with the trucks. You know, you, you just wouldn't know. And what's so interesting about this game is that all the buttons work. All the buttons work. Yeah, it's so crazy. So I decided. So I decided to stream that day. And what I thought was really cool is that I recently learned that you could, you can't stream music, but. You could stream talk radio. So what the fuck did I do? Instead of instead of listening to music while I'm driving this b- big ass truck, I put on MLB radio. You know, you so I'm listening to MLB radio while driving the truck and having a good time delivering pallets, wood, whatever. Um, scenery's scenery's great. Graphics are are are. I mean, graphics. We can say that the graphics compare to how you're looking when you're driving GTA Five. So if you're okay. if you're pl- still pretty good, yeah. If you're it's still pretty good, if you're driving in first person in GTA Five, you're pretty much good. It it, it it looks really good. Um, the driving is kind of interesting, you know, because you're all all your buttons are for everything: your pedals, your gas, your lights, your wipers, your radio, your window. You can roll your window down. Um, you can mm-hmm. customize your trucks. Um, you can do jobs. You can do convoys. Fantastic game. Fantastic game. So my official rating for this game is a nine point one. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's pretty. That's that's pretty good there. You know, right. it, 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 okay. there's. You don't need a story. You're doing work. You're literally. You're you're doing work. Okay. I did a seventeen hundred. A seventeen hundred mile drive, and uh-huh. it took me literally about forty five minutes to an hour and a half to finish the job. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, and it's it's very interesting, very interesting. And I had one mishap where I just missed the bridge, and oh I fell back into the highway. Very interesting huh. stuff. Um, while I'm now, while I'm in the conversation of simulators, I have been playing. Microsoft Flight Simulator more and more and more. They recently did a, they mis- they recently did an update where they compressed the game where you know it's pretty much more playable if you have a computer because th- the big issue was that the game was was too high definition. It was too much. So a lot of high-end PCs that people were paying thousands of dollars for the game hack it. yeah, they couldn't they couldn't handle the game. You know, it, it, that that's pretty. You know that that's a lot. To, that's saying something. That's, 
That's intense. Yeah. You know, so they compressed the game. I went back into the game. I started playing it. I, I got I, I did the fucking training. And let me tell you, you know, I sent you some pictures through the through the chat um, with the speedometers and all that stuff. It, it's the game is literally just like truck simulator showing you how to drive a truck. This game is showing you how to fly a plane. Now I don't know how accurate it is if there's other factors of turning on the plane and stuff like that. But every mm -hmm. button, whether you're flying a little a little personal Peabody plane or whether you're flying a a, a airliner. Every button works. Every button works. So if you if you press whatever fucking button and the plane fucking go topsy turvy, you know you right. know you it it's working. You know um, the mechanics again. Mechanics are fantastic, and the graphics on this game are way are like ten times better on this than there are on Truck Simulator. And this game is run, I believe, through Google Maps or Bing Maps. It's it's run through one of those, and you could, you know, it's just so accurate. If you're if you're flying close to buildings while your engines are running, you're gonna blow out the windows. So the game will stop <laughs> in the middle of it and say, you know, you're going too fast to be flying this slow. So you know, you you actually have to adjust. You have to adjust the the engine levels. Um, you have everything, everything. A fantastic yeah, game. That would be I can't wait to fly a fucking F-14 Tomcat and buzz the tower like my hero Tom Cruise and Top Gun. Yeah, they, and, and you and with the update coming July 27th, um, the game is coming onto console um, on the Xbox Series X. God damn it! But, but, uh, and I'm gonna get to this very soon after my next after my next game review. Um, you may be able to play it on the Xbox Cloud, and when I get to that, you're actually going to be pretty excited about that. The next game that I have gotten into, which I told myself I would never play, it looks stupid, it just looks like too much to learn, is Rogue, is. Is Rogue Company. Rogue Company? Yes, it is a free-to-play third-person shooter. Um... How how can I compare this? So it the game has looks like it has the mechanics of the division. Okay. With the character styles of Rainbow Six Siege, each character has a different thing that they can that they can do. One had one has a medic drone, another one has like uh, special grenades and stuff like that. You you get the gist. You know each each character Absolutely. you know each character is different, and. Um, you know, Geo for Mercy is Fragment, you know, said, hey, man, try this game out. If you don't like it, you know, whatever, you know, delete it. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll try it out. And let me tell you, it, when you play a game and, you're, and your first game, with your first games, you win six games in a row and you're averaging about 16 to 23 kills a game, that, you know, that's a pretty good game that you're enjoying. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, starting, off, starting off on the right foot with that game, huh? Yeah, you know, um, it's... It, it's f these kills don't feel cheap in the words of Jay. These kills Dang. don't fe feel cheap because you're doing a lot in this game. You could actually do like a rolling maneuver to evade, which which helps a lot. It gets aggravating because you could imagine, you know, just like jumpers in Warzone, you know, right. they're you know, it gets aggravating. But it goes it you still get shots, you know? You know, whatever the fucking bullet velocity or the bullet's curve, whatever. The game is cartoony as fuck, and it makes it fun. Um, the one cool thing that I really like is equipment. So I've been rocking with a character named Saint, and his character has a, a little medic drone, and I'm playing I'm playing with Geo, Senor Cobalis, and he's down. He's like, throw me your drone, throw me your drone. So I throw the drone at him, revives him and in the game mode that we were playing it's called strikeout you get uh, five lives five tickets and it's like team deathmatch but you only have five lives and okay. you, you could revive your teammates which makes it even interesting because if you're reviving your teammate you don't lose a ticket and you're pretty, uh, you're, okay. you're pretty much you're going and at the same time you're protecting zones like so it's pretty much like kill confirmed meets team de deathmatch meets headquarters right. okay okay you know, yeah, very, we've, had, we've, had, we've had plenty of plenty of games on on Modern Warfare that we pre that's pretty much exactly what we were doing. So yep. I can imagine you being pretty good at it, getting sixteen or twenty kills a game. Oh yeah, you know I mean like 
and winning winning your first six games out. Like yeah, and when you know if the, I I almost feel like and I and I was kind of like deep diving on myself the other day about this how there's just some games that are so familiar sometimes or older games that when you play this you're just like okay I can figure this out pretty pretty easily. Absolutely. You know, and you know the the buttons aren't complicated at all. And I think the really cool thing about this game is that every match you start off with like fifteen hundred dollars. You have to buy your assault rifles, your equipment, and your perks. Everything. You don't. If you don't buy none of that stuff, you don't start off with shit. You know, you're right. using. You know, you're using these bad boys. You know, which okay. I mean, hey, you know, I've I've seen some magic done. With the fist in this game, so it's it, it's a fun game. Um, my bad, my Microsoft Flight Simulator re- review number is a nine point six. Nine point six. Yes. Number? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and and it, and it's a nine point six because there's still areas of the map you can't see that I'm really interested in seeing. Such as what? I want to see. I want to see uh, Sweden. You can't go to Sweden in you, that game? You can't fly out of Sweden, and there's not really much when you fly over Sweden or Switzerland. You can't fly into Afghanistan either. What? Yeah, so I don't know what the issue with that is, but you could fly to Epstein Island, so. That's going to, that, see, that pisses me off, man. I want to fucking, that, that's like one of the first places I would go. Yeah, I'd fly but, back over Afghanistan. Yeah, but in saying that, they also, they're also going to have some updates. They just added Nordic nordic countries into the game which which which, which, would, which would include sweden yes yes uh, but these areas are beautiful i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stream later on the page okay and hopefully okay. this hopefully the computer can handle the stream and the game at the same time but yeah but yeah rogue company um rogue company's fun i like it it's not very it, it, it gets laggy sometimes you know that um i guess sir i guess there's a lot of people that play it Best part about it, it's a free game. Okay, you know it. Free, free is a good, free is a good, a good, uh, good price. Yeah, like you know, and when you start the game off, you start off with like I think like maybe seven or eight characters, which is you know it's good. It has uh-huh. a battle pass. If you feel like paying for it, you could. If you don't want to pay for it, it's not a pay to win game. So, okay, um, okay. I, I give that one an, an eight point seven. Okay. You know, the, okay. I, I feel like graphics could could be worked on. I think their servers could be worked on a little bit better. That's really my main thing. Um, more, more. I would like to see them incorporate tournament events in this game because I really, th- I from what I understand, this is a, a esports game as well. So a lot of esports teams play this, and this is a, I, I see a lot of fun things coming for this game. But I just think that there should be. There should be a little more work and good job, good work on the developers on this game because it's actually it's actually not that bad. And um, okay. now I got I like some that. I got some bread and butter for you, man. All right, um, man, let's hear it. I'm excited for this. So it, I've been waiting for this. So last week, the Xbox Cloud has officially been released on on iPhone, on iOS, on PC. And there there's there's so much about this. There's so much about the Xbox Cloud that. I didn't believe, and I had to try it myself to see if how true it was. Um, first off, the Xbox Cloud, you don't need to download anything. Okay. That's fantastic. Absolutely. already like that part. Um, if you already have an account, you don't have to pay for anything extra. Okay. All right. And... I, the best part about this, you get Xbox Series X hard software while playing on the cloud. Really? Yes. Um, I'll get more in depth with that in a few minutes. Um, it has, um, on the mobile side of the cloud, there are specific games that you can actually use your screen to play with. Which is pretty cool. Which is more of like the, more of like the independent kitty games like Overcooked... You know, you can use your fingers right. and stuff like that. Or, you know, you could be traditional and you could connect, you could Bluetooth connect your Xbox remote to your phone and you could play it that way. Um, again, it's not an app that you have to download. You go into your phone browser, you sign in, it asks you to do this thing where you actually, um, you turn the website icon into a homepage icon on your on your phone. And 
when you click it, it goes directly into it. It, it literally, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking show it to you guys. There you go. So here, you just fucking show us. So here's my phone, um, <laughs> and this is the this is the cloud gaming app. So when we when we jump into it, it's it starts up, and there it is. There there are all my games. Awesome. You know, as you can see, oh look right here, MLB the show. There you go. I got Batman in there. Um, so yeah, we got a comment from uh, we got a comment from Desha Deshaun Myers is saying that this is a mobile gaming level up. This this uh, yeah. this really is, and it's not even considered mobile gaming. It's just mobile ex gaming extension. Like this, this changes everything. Look at this. MLB the show has started on my phone with no issues. The game works. And on top of that, my Xbox console isn't even on. What the fuck? My console hasn't even turned on. That is That's intense, dude. Yeah. That is like next that's next level shit, man. Okay, and and on the PC oh, you, you were you were right, you were right. You were right, Deshaun. Like he because he did he did call it. He said fucking he called he called that out a couple weeks ago and he's he's not wrong. I remember yeah. I remember when he uh, he mentioned something like that in one of the one of his comments on uh he did. podcast two or three weeks ago. And if and, and I mean Deshaun actually suggested this this device called uh a, a, it's a it's a crack it's a razor item. If you have this thing, your cloud gaming setup is is perfected. Throw on some fucking Bluetooth headphones and, call, and dude, that, it, it, that's it. You know that that's completely it. Um, th now, um, not all games are available on this, but there are a lot of games that are that are Game Pass games are available on the cloud. Okay. Okay. So now, Jay, you could go on your shitty laptop, not have to worry about overclocking or burning out your laptop, uh -huh. and you could play a way out with me without downloading anything on your fucking laptop. Okay. You could, you could, it, you know, if you were. What if, about flight simulator? We're gonna get to that in a second, because uh -huh. I, because I have, because I have, because I have a really, I have a theory about. I have a, I have a really big theory about this, about, about Microsoft Flight Simulator coming. Um, what was I at now? What what point did I just say? The you were talking you were talking about uh, me being able to play on my laptop without burning out the hard drive. Oh yeah, you could play stretch stretch stretching the limits of uh, the uh, the capacity basically for my my device whatever device I'm using for the cloud. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So let's say you let's say okay you're you're about to start you're about to go drive you're about to drive to, to Kansas City. Okay. So let's say you know you're bored, you can't fall asleep, and you say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna Bluetooth my controller to my laptop or my phone. I'm gonna put it right here in front of me while while Nikki's driving, and I'm just gonna play." You could do that. Okay. You could fucking do that. You know. Okay. You could sit there on the road and just play. You know. You know. Play with your meat. Play your game at the same time. While you're on the open road, you know, I like doing, I like doing, I like doing both of those things on road trips. So thank you. They, yes, they, sir. There you thank go. You, sir. <laughs> and, and, and it works, you know, it fucking works. And it, this is the biggest development in gaming right now. And it's a, another big slap in the face to, to Sony. I, I hate Sony. I yeah, hate well, to we, say it. No, we, I know we've been, I, I know we've been kind of Sony bashing lately, but you know what? We're going to continue this week. Cause like Sony is just not. They're still silent, I, I, dude. Just dead, dead silence. They ain't, they ain't coming out with shit. They're not announcing shit. Like I, I like, I'm starting to question whether or not they just they stop giving a fuck up like altogether. Yeah, and They're just like, and what's interesting too, they just bought out a PC studio too. They man, they better they better come out with the fucking shiniest diamond here, like in the next six months, dude, because they are failing fucking miserably right now. Yeah, and I like, mean, just absolutely face planting right now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Cake, what you cake, got? cake, 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 cake. All right, we got some cake here. Um, yeah, Sony doesn't have shit on this, and I'm a Sony fan. It's heartbreaking because we said this a couple weeks ago. I I was asked by Sean, "Do you feel like they're they're dividing ga gamers?" And I still stand by my comment that yes, they are. 
Where is the competition? There is there is none right now. Exactly. That's what, that's what I'm worried. That's what I'm worried. I, re- about. I, re- there is none right I now. remember a time when Call of Duty and Battlefield were duking it out who had the best fucking trailer. Right. I remember when PlayStation and Xbox used to go at it. We're releasing all these things. No, I, well, I'm releasing this. Well, we got Halo. Ha ha ha. We bought the Call of Duty rights. You know, like it's right. always been a competition. Right. Where the fuck is the competition? There's no excitement. If I was a 16-year-old kid and my parents told me, it's time for you to get your first official, your own console. 16 right. is a little much, but I feel like 16 is like a good, like, a good age. you know, a good, age a good milestone age. age to have your first official console. And right. my parents said, hey, so which one would you want? I'll be like, fuck that. Get me a PC. So I don't even need an Xbox. Right. Just pay for my right. Xbox account. You know, Xbox is literally leading the way with everything. The Xbox cloud is no different. And here's another reason why you should use the Xbox cloud. I have been obsessed with wanting to play the MLB Stadium creator in the show. Uh And I can't play that with with old gen. I go on the fucking... I go on the cloud, Xbox Series X software. I'm I'm making stadiums. Shut the fuck up! Can you make the Can you make a stadium for your team, the the veterans? Yeah, the, the new veterans. You have to see. You have to see what I made. It's called Veterans Memorial oh. Stadium. Dude, I want to fucking see that shit, bro. I want to see that shit. That fucking that's it. I don't know because I, I know I know you kick ass in that fucking game. Dude. I remember you fucking you made that dude fucking rage quit that that fucking one night. He was like talking all that shit. Fucking you threw a you threw a fucking no hitter on him and shit. Oh man, like, I was so excited that day too. My kid, oh, dude, you, you I, deserved every you deserved every accolade. I remember you that motherfucker's ass and like pit, you pissed I, him off so bad. I screamed so loud. My kids were like, "What's going on?" And I'm like, "No hitter, baby, let's go!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. But yeah, I could do the stadium creator on this game, and the stadium creator. You could first off. You could literally make the stadium for Field of Dreams. Hell yeah! You know you could like like where I'm at here here in Iowa, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's you, literally where I'm at right now. You could literally make that. You could literally make that field. On top of that, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you could change the sceneries, the seating, everything. I cannot wait to show you guys the Veterans Memorial Stadium. For the new ge- oh, I and I changed the colors of my uniforms too. Would you? Would you change them to? I went from the Fallout blue and yellow to the uh-huh. army to the army black and yellow. Okay, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, so fuck yeah. The only issue I have with Xbox is the toxic community. I have played in both PlayStation and Xbox community, and the Xbox community is hella toxic. But it's nothing to put people on mute to play. So still, Xbox is killing it. You know, and I have Absolutely. I have to, I have 100%. to agree with that. 100% agree with that. It, it, you know, the Xbox... And we talked about this, too. There was an article that came out that Xbox players are the most toxic gamers in the community. Doesn't surprise me. You know, this... Doesn't surprise me. We, we covered this a couple episodes ago, and, and I'm not surprised. But it just goes to say, we have a lot of bragging rights. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot... Hey, remind me, remind me before, before we get too far... Uh, too close to our uh, final thoughts here. Uh, we need to do a preview for next Saturday because before we do our next podcast, uh, there's a big UFC coming up next Saturday. Oh shit! So we need to get we need to we need to get predictions. We need to get our, our official predictions so that uh, we can look back on this in a week and see if we were right or if we were wrong. So don't uh, don't don't let me forget that. I forgot to mention that earlier. I apologize. That's so hard. <laughs> What's that? It's gonna be so What's hard. I, it's so hard. <laughs> it's uh, gonna be an interesting. It's gonna be a very yeah. interesting one. Um, I think so. Microsoft Flight Simulator. This game. If you if you ask me, I believe it's coming because it's already on Game Pass for the PC. Right. So it would make sense for them to put it on the Game Pass on the cloud. 
I would sure hope they do someday. Because you know? I would and if, fucking jizz my goddamn. Yeah, and if there's anything, but, and if there's anything that we learned within the last couple months, especially with the Fortnite and Apple case, Xbox doesn't make a profit on their consoles. No, we we, we no, we discussed that. We yeah, discussed that. They they, they 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 depend on the on the replayability of the games. And that right. goes to coincide what the Game Pass is. That's right. It's fr- exactly right. it's free games for us to play. And it's and like Deshaun says, there are so many titles on Game Pass. There are so many games. So with Flight Simulator already being on the Game Pass on PC, I would not be surprised if it came on the Game Pass for the cloud. It just it just makes sense. It it just you let me know. You let me yeah. fucking know. It just I will legitimately like fucking just yeah, I'll be I'll be a, a, in a puddle in a, in a corner, melted. You know, like it, it just makes I really really want to play this fucking game. It just makes so much sense to have it done because why not? You want people to play. You want people to play the game. That's 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 right. what you want. And I mean, the numbers on MLB the Show since coming to Xbox, it's been insane. To the point that now, first off, EA. You're a bunch of fucking assholes because you want to buy a fucking shitty baseball game, a cartoony baseball game, to try to compete with MLB The Show when you guys could have been making a baseball game for the last 20 fucking years to compete with the show. And you guys haven't done shit. Now you want to make a fucking baseball game? No. Fuck you. Give me a college baseball game. I don't want another, another MLB game. Give me college baseball. Yeah, fuck you, EA. Yeah, because, yeah, you. you know, and, and I've been meaning to talk about that. That pisses me off so much because people like me have been waiting to play a baseball game for 20 fucking years. Right. No, it, it, right. It's no joke. 20 years. I'm yeah. not. And, EA, is like, EA is like the fucking Sony of fucking, like, video game companies. You know what I mean? Like, they're fucking, like, just and, fucking it up. And they completely. Just fucking it up. And they completely said, nah, fuck you. So they buy Super Mega Baseball, which is the only baseball game that Xbox had. Right. It was fun. It was good, but it wasn't fun. What was, like, what was it, fun fucking 10 years ago? Like, like, I mean, yeah, come on, like, and, and the last one that came out, they tried to incorporate like real fields and stuff, which made it look nice. But when your character has a head that looks like, that looks like a fucking hot air balloon and your, and your body looks like a fucking pencil dick... Right. I don't want right. to play it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. So if EA if EA is going to make a baseball game, make a fucking college baseball game because college baseball is is exciting too. There's college football, and I don't know. If, and I don't know if you heard this. This relates to gaming news. Actually, breaking news: college football games now have to play the college football players for using their likeness in the games. Good. That should have been. They should have been able to do. They should have been doing that a long fucking time ago. Absolutely. So, remember, if you know, if EA, you're doing this for college football, make a college baseball game. I, I, it's too easy. It's too easy. Yep. You have a lot of great colleges out there who have amazing players. Yep. And so yeah. So the Xbox Cloud. I'm going to give it a nine point zero. A, a straight solid nine. There's a lot of there's a lot of it's still in beta. There's still a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of options for you to play. But you can see the promise in it. You can see the promise of Absolutely. Like what is to come. I could I could see them and now they did have an article that they talked about going consoleless for the next era. Holy shit. You know, if if that if if they can I don't think we're ready for that yet. I, I, I just I don't, I don't think we are either. Yeah, I think technology wise, I don't think that we're there yet. And if we are, I mean, ex- explain it to us, you know, because we want to understand it. Because yeah, I conv- con- convince me not to have a fucking separate console, basically. Abs- like, convince ab- me. Absolutely, because you know we have all these. Cl- we have there's a you know Google uses cloud services. There's so many companies that use cloud services. They all work. Right. Gaming is a whole nother animal. Absolutely, you know, and we've seen the f- we've seen the failure of Stadia. Mm-hmm. You know the Amazon 
the Amazon uh, game cloud gaming thing, it's not doing that good. So right. what is Xbox going to do that's going to make it the best? You know, so... Right. You know, so we'll, maybe we're going to talk about this five months from now, that there, it's just changed so much better. But, uh, guys, do the cloud. Just do the cloud. You have to do it. If you're an Xbox user, a PC user, mobile game user, get the cloud. I, I You will not be disappointed. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Deshaun, Deshaun says the the Luna looks bad, which yeah. does, doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Fucking fuck, fuck Amazon in general right now. I'm really not a big fan of that company as a whole right now. I know I know they I know they employ a lot of people, but um, yeah, we'll, we're not gonna go we're not gonna go there. It's it's Fourth of July. I'm trying to fucking have a good day, so we're not gonna go there right now. <laughs> and while it's Fourth of July, I got 15 facts for you. Oh, here you go. Facts about what? About what? Fourth of July? About the Fourth of July. Okay. Okay. Let's fucking hear this shit. All right. I want to hear this shit. I'll, t- I'll tell you what. You you give the facts, and I'll tell you if I if I fucking knew that fact already or not. How about that? All right. Let's do it. Number let's one. Do it. We didn't actually declare independence on the Fourth of July. That is te- that is technically true. So the Declaration of Independence was signed on Fourth of July. Yes. But it, they still did. They still had to ship that motherfucker to England, so England wasn't really probably uh, aware of our intent yeah. <laughs> uh, on the Fourth of July. Yeah. So that is that is definitely technically true. Yeah, technically, it said technically it's, true. it says the official vote, you, and you're right. the The vote took place two days before, but the declaration was published on the fourth. So. Right. So yeah. That and that's really. I don't really see that to be like a big thing either i mean because remember we got to remember there was no email there was no internet no. snail mail wasn't even there yet oh fuck no we're talking no. we're, we're talking about bird mail pony express man they, <laughs> they, they, they like you had to you had to, you had to send it you had to send a letter to your cousin in england man like you're not getting a response for like six fucking oh you're months, fucked bro. you're fucked can, can you imagine the that like I, I see we have to start doing shorts like the moment they found out America declared independence, like, what the fuck? The fuck is this upstart colony fucking think they're doing? Like, God damn like, it! Like, like Thomas, Ben, where the fuck are you guys going? What are you gonna do? What are you <laughs> gonna do? Just, just do whatever the fuck you want? No, no, no. I can only like imagine like them get. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing good old. My PT shirt. Oh, you had your good old fucking old, old school PT shirt on, huh? Yeah, it still fits. It still fits. Uh, yeah, but I think about that all the time. What was the reaction of the king when he got? I mean, you could like. We were the, we were the first, baby. We were the first. Can, can you imagine the guy who has the letter in his hand, giving it to him, shaking like? Your Highness, we have a problem. <laughs> Number two, the designer of the 50 star flag lived in Lancaster, Ohio. In 1958. Okay, I know that. In 19, I definitely did not know that. Yeah, a history teacher assigned the class assignment to redesign the national flag as both Alaska and Hawaii neared statehood. Robert Heft, who was 16 at the time, designed the new flag using the old 48 star flag and $2.87 cents worth of blue cloth and white iron on material perfect his design earned him a b minus to which he challenged by sending it to washington dc to be considered by president eisenhower eisenhower great president right there we we, absolutely we got probably one of our last like really truly good president yeah we actually had a really good conversation about him a couple weeks ago too we did. Um, according to his obituary, Hef was one of thousands to submit a flag design, but he was the only person who actually stitched together a flag and shipped it to D.C. Really? Once the flag was selected, his grade was rightfully changed to an A, and his design became the official flag in 1960. That's badass. Good, good shit. Good shit. Yep. Um, by, the, by the way, for those of you that are not, not, not uh, tracking, that's uh, the, the Blue Field of Stars has... Five rows of six and four rows of, of of five, for a grand total of fifty. One one star each, representing all of our great states in our union. 
And then, of course, the uh, the 13 stripes uh, are uh, symbolic of the 13 original colonies for uh, for those of you guys uh, not plussed up on your flag history. So start doing Absolutely. some fucking research so I don't have to fucking tell you this shit on a podcast. All right, number three. This one's actually kind of funny, and I have a cool story to tell about this. Americans will enjoy 150 million hot dogs during the 4th. Fuck yeah, I believe that. Very American. According to the American, I totally believe it too, because there's 330 plus million people in this country, which means on average, each person is eating like slightly less than half a hot dog yeah. this weekend. So yes, I believe that 100%. So, believe according that. I'm going to be having a hot dog today at Kauffman Stadium. Watching the uh, the Royals play this afternoon, so baby, Jay is going to see the Dodgers, uh, the Dodgers, the Kansas City Royals the later Dodgers. eating eating a ballpark frank. That's, that's yeah, that's right. That's yep. right. According to, yep, according to the national hot to the National Sausage and Hot Dog Council, Americans are expected to eat 150 million hot dogs over the holiday. This is part of an estimated seven billion that are expected to be eaten during the summer season from Memorial to Labor Day. Um, one cool thing that I did in my life, my younger years, I went to the National Hot Dog Con, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest in yeah, Coney yeah. Island. Who uh, who won it that year? Uh, Joey Chestnut won that year. Joey Chestnut won. Okay. Yeah. So um, first off, it's not. All as nice as it looks on the TV. <laughs> there is a is there is a is lot that? of fucking people there. Okay, a lot of people. And um, let me tell you, you know, I, I, I still to this day I still eat like I'm in basic training. But these motherfuckers eat like they're on their first day of boot, man, because they are sucking these things down, drinking these waters, hydrating themselves, and. Dipping these hot dogs in in water just to, whew. just to eat it, just to get, yeah, just to get down. Yeah. It's one yeah, of yeah. it's one of the most craziest things to ever witness, and one of the the most hype crowds I've ever seen. More than a concert, more than a wrestling show, more than a sports event. Like these, this this, it, there is there is nothing more American than seeing a bunch of assholes shove hot dogs down their throats to 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 win a lifetime supply of nathan's hey, it, it's 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 we, we get down like that here too we swallow the homies good night too that, swallow the fucking all that meat down their mouth okay like we get down like that too that's okay Deshaun Meyer says there's a problem in america if we have a national hot dog and sausage association <laughs> It's very, it's it's, very american it really is it really is it's it's so, and it's just it's so funny to me um this is interesting to me that i did not know only two men signed the Declaration of Independence on the 4th. The other 54 delegates signed over the course of the next month. Okay. Okay. That also does not surprise me. I, I, can't, say, I can't say I knew that specifically, but that does not surprise me. Like they, I, I, I did know they were not all present at the, yeah. at the actual time. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, okay. And, 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 and while we're in that con- conversation just remember folks because i know some people still think this bet franklin it he's on the 100 he's on the 100 but he is not a president he was not a president there's also there's also one more that was not a president you know which one it is as far as our uh, our money Washington, Lincoln. No. Who do you got? No. Who's on the ten dollar bill? Jefferson. Negative. That's Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, Alexander. And he was, and he was, and he was not a president. He was actually killed by a sitting vice president in a duel. Of all. That's things. right. He was killed by Aaron Burr. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Alexander Hamilton on our ten dollar bill, Benjamin Franklin on the one hundred dollar bill, neither of which were presidents. Listen, guys, if you need a history lesson, come right to Jay. You know, we need to get you on that history show, drunk history lessons. Well, I got a couple of stories I could tell, like a little bit twisty, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I do. Give you know, feed feed me some alcohol, and I could probably get in get into some like pretty kick ass stories, dude. Cause... Hey, hey, man, we we may we may actually be able to film that in person. 
you, you might you might have to you might have to because yeah I got, that might be a good time yep number five there is something written on the back of the declaration of independence and no Ooh. it isn't a treasure map written in invisible ink a simple message is written upside down across the bottom of the signed document that reads original declaration of independence dated 4th of july 1776 According to the same article, no one knows who wrote this or when, but it was believed to have been added as a label during the years of the Revolutionary War when the parchment was frequently rolled up for transport. Sounds like a yeah. like a watermark type. Yeah, kind of like to make sure that it was like officially official. Hey, I got a little bit of trivia for you. Do you know what kind of paper? What kind? What 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 they made that parchment that the Declaration of Independence was written um, on? You know what they made that parchment out of. Why do I want to say papyrus? You want to say something else, but it's not papyrus. No, because papyrus is is from the old days. Yeah, that's from that's from the, you're thinking about like ancient Egypt and shit. Rice was it rice? No, it's not rice. I'll give you hemp? a big hint. Is it hemp? It was hemp. It was, yeah. Yes. So our our constitution is not rent, is not written on hemp, but the Declaration of Independence. Is printed on hemp parchment. What? So, so you could the original, the original, the original document of all documents that stands the test of time and and the, spans the course of history, kind of like the Magna Carta. You know, if we're talking about Western civilization, the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America was written on hemp parchment, which up until 2018 was illegal in the United States. Deshaun Meyer says it says eat our ass, which is yeah. Yeah. Eat our yeah, eat our fucking that, ass. You know, yeah, that, that's that's literally, I mean, if you think about that, it's kind of like, yeah, here you go, America, declaration, eat our ass. It, I, I, I yeah. That, that is it, that is, so, so, I would not do this, guys, I would not do this, but I'm sure some asshole could safely smoke the Declaration of Independence, that, that's, I, mean, I don't know that would, I don't know that it would do much for him, you know, being being that it's hemp and we don't, they don't we don't have all the uh, extraction. Uh, well, I'm saying like they could they that, could uh, they could Blaze. they could roll it up. Yeah, well, like our our, friend, our friends over at Blaze Online might be able to tell us how to, uh, to how to extract something from it, right? But I don't think uh, it would probably just be. But yeah, it's that's that's actually what it's printed on. That's, that's a very little known. That's fact. interesting. One signed later recanted the Declaration of Independence. Richard Stockton, a lawyer from New Jersey, <laughs> became the right. only signer of the Declaration of Independence to recant his support of the revolution after being captured by the British and thrown in jail. <laughs> oh, I see. He was, so he was a revolutionary and he got captured and he got cold feet. He didn't want to go all in. After years of abru ab abusive treatment and his recanting of loyalties, Stockton was released to find all of his property destroyed or stolen by, by the British. His library, one of the fi finest in the colonies, was burned to the ground. Good. If, he, if, he, if he's going to sit there and recant his uh, signature on the Declaration of Independence, I'm glad his property got destroyed. Yep, me too. You know, if you're, if you're going to go all in, man, go all in. Dive, yeah. dive head first into the deep end. Don't... Uh, don't be a pussy, right? Ooh. Like this is uh th now this is interesting. The average age of signers was forty five years. Of the fifty six signers, the youngest one was Thomas Lynch Jr. and Edward Rutledge of South Carolina, who were only twenty six. However, Benjamin Franklin was seventy years old at the time. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Ben ben Benjamin Franklin. You want to talk about a, a man who lived a very fascinating life? This dude was living like the jet set lifestyle 200 years before jets were even a thing. Okay? This guy this guy had friends and he had friends in Europe. He had friends in the colonies. He had friends all over the place. He hung out. He was an inventor. Uh, he liked he And liked no one gave life. a fuck. Liked, and no one gave a yeah, fuck. He liked dr drinking and womanizing and everything else. This dude was a rock and roll star before rock and roll ever existed, right? So, and he was 70 yeah, he was about 70 years old. When the declaration was signed. Now, so yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is he the one that that didn't talk to his own son because uh, his son was a follower of the king? I'm not sure. Give me about fifteen seconds here. Let me look that up because I 
I know I want to say I, I vaguely recall kind of what you're alluding to, but I don't remember if it was Ben Franklin or not. So give me one second here. Okay, let's see here. Family life. His his Wikipedia is immense, by the way. Oh yeah, I think I I can't remember. I believe I for some odd reason I believe it was him who had a son that was still a follower of the king and. Yes. They didn't speak to each other for like ten years or something like that, and and, it, and that very well could be. And that, you know, we we have you know we've had our discussions uh, on here about uh, the Civil War. And yeah, there was a lot of stuff that occurred that was very, very similar to what it happened was very to that in the Civil War, where families would be families would be split down the middle. You know, father due, father was for the Union, son was for the for the yeah, Confederacy. Due to political, you know, loyalties, okay. you know, and yeah. and and people forget too that after the, after the American Revolution, there were still British people living in the colonies that were still yes, were. for the king. They were, they were still loyalists. Yeah, they were still they were called loyalists. Yeah, and they were still loyal. They were still loyal to the crown, and that's. That's very true. Yep. And, uh, and and all this go, you know, and during this time, um, who, there was that French that French revolutionary who fought with us, Lafayette. Yep. You're talking about the Marquis Marquis de Lafayette. Yes, sir. He was he was actually uh, Lafayette was actually uh, so he was a general in the Revolutionary War for us, and he, he assisted us and helped uh, whip a lot of our militiamen into shape, into fighting shape. And where he is buried in France, in, in Paris, France, where Lafayette is buried, there's actually a French flag and an American flag at his gravesite. In addition, they took soil from the colonies when they buried him so that he would be buried underneath American soil. And when we liberated... Very beautiful. Yeah. And when we, when we liberated Paris in, uh, in 1944, if I'm not mistaken, when we liberated Paris after the D-Day landings... Uh, one of the American generals went to his grave and saluted him and said, "Lafayette, we are here." So we, he kept a promise. He kept a promise to us um, as a Frenchman and helped us defeat our our mother our mothership, you know, the, the the British. And we we returned the favor in 1944 when we liberated his country uh, from Nazi Germany. What, so what what a crazy fucking time. Absolutely. The, 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 Absolutely. The American Revolution, independence from Great Britain, you know, the it's type... Unheard of, unheard of concept. Up until, up until 1776, this is an unknown concept yeah. in world history. No country, up until the United States did it, no country had ever broken off and just made, and just done their own fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, this is unheard of. It's unheralded in, in world history. So they, they, a nickname that the United States has is the Great Experiment. Yeah, democracy, democracy had never been tried before. This was a new thing. It was a brand new thing, a whole new concept. Like, you mean we don't have to live under under the thumb of a king or a queen or who's on the whatever, other side the of the world? Right, and and because we we're surrounded by two great oceans, it's not easy to get here. So for a long time, a long for a long, long time, when you just had like rickety ass boats to take you across those vast expanses of water, you weren't going to get there quick. You know what I mean? So we were pretty sheltered when we when we broke off from from Great Britain, when we broke off from 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 England, the United the United, the United Kingdom. Yep, we were pretty safe. We we're pretty safe. Like, I, I remember. You know, oh, I, so you, got, you guys don't like us? All right, come get us. It's going to take you three fucking months to get yeah, here. I remember that just just you know? three hundred years before that. Christopher Columbus was evading the Amer was invading the Amer the Americas. Yes, yeah, down in uh, yeah down in the uh, Caribbean. That's right. You know he. That's right. You know so there there was a lot going. So three uh, a lot happened in three hundred years. You know Britain became oh, this yes. this giant oh, God, empire yes. in three. In, you know it was already a big empire, but look how much it grew into be in those three hundred oh, years absolutely. until yeah. the American Revolution. Do 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 a do a do a Google search and do world flags, and go and start scrolling down and see how many of the world flags still to this day have the the uh, the Union Jack for the United Kingdom on their flag. Australia is one of them. Australia is definitely one of them. But yeah, like and there's so many of those flags still have the Union Jack. They were former British colonies, you know, before they gained their independence. But the United States did it first. Absolutely, we were we were the originals, baby. We Absolutely. were the originals, like. 
OG's often, baby. Often imitated, often imitated, never duplicated. Absolutely. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Number eight, the Declaration of Independence was written on a laptop. A, not a modern laptop. Thomas Jefferson oh, drafted the Declaration of Independence on a writing desk that could literally fit over one's lap. The device referred to at the time as a laptop. Really? Yep. I did not know that. That, that is that's pretty cool. That. I had no idea about that either. Fucking, I actually I, like that. I actually Very picture cool. like a like a little computer desk that you would buy like at Target or something. You something that's like that. I like that a lot. That's a good, that, that's a, that was a fun fact. That was definitely a fun that's fact. That's cool. I like that. Number 9. According to the American Pyrotechnics Association, <laughs> Deshaun Myers, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> According to the American Pyrotechnics Association, Americans spend more than one billion dollars on fireworks each each year. Out of this, ten percent of fireworks displays are set off professionally, which probably accounts for the estimated twelve thousand nine hundred fireworks related emergency room visits across the country each year. According to Fortune magazine, of those injuries occurring between June and July, almost seventy percent were experienced by men. Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. Right. So, like, you know, there's like a there's a meme there's a meme floating around on the internet right now. It's like somebody went somebody went to work on on, on Friday, not realizing this was going to be the last week, and they had all ten of their fingers. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, and, and actually, uh, actually, I actually went I actually went a little crazy. I got uh, I got a bunch of fireworks uh, on the way up here. Oh shit! And we, we we set we set about half of them off here, and I'm going to set the other half off tonight uh, down in Kansas City. But uh, but yeah, they um, you have to be very very careful with that stuff. They are they are explosives, yeah. and you know you have to be very very careful. So yes, baby, are you buying fireworks today? No. After the last one, just go to my job. Get the ten dollar one. She'll get it. <laughs> you value my life more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> number yeah, 10 on the second anniversary of independence day in 1778 american troops were fighting the american revolutionary war during this time george washington ordered a double ration of rum for american soldiers to celebrate the holiday that's what i'm talking about the father of our country okay the freaking the granddaddy of them all like the, the original general of the infantry Okay, my man George Washington. My man George Washington. He gave us a double ration of rum two years after while we were still fighting the revolution. Yep. He took care of his grunts. He, That's what I like. That's what I like. We love we love General Washington. The wooden wooden so. teeth and all. Wooden teeth Say and all. Say that again? Oh, wooden teeth. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, but a lot of people don't know this, too, that George Washington's teeth, he had animal teeth he had yes, wood. He, he had wood teeth. He probably had a gold tooth in there, probably. But his teeth yeah. were fucked up. For those who don't know, he had fucked up teeth. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He was also a uh, he was also a survivor of uh, smallpox. So he had uh, yes, he smallpox was. scars. He had smallpox scars all over his face. Yeah, that's a, that's a little known factoid that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, he was a smallpox survivor. Yeah. So, Deshaun, I am mind officially, I mind mind officially blown on that fact. I I have to agree. The laptop thing that that that's incredible. Yeah. Number eleven. Yep. Fireworks date back as a tradition of Independence Day as early as the first anniversary in 1777. John That's Adam fucking bad. That is badass. John Adams wrote in a letter to his wife Abigail that he wanted Independence Day to be celebrated with pomp, parade, shows and illuminations. The letter was written when Adams presumed that Independence Day was on July 2nd. Interesting. So he was still under the impression that it was the it was the the day that they actually filled out the form versus the day that it was dated. Absolutely. Which again, a lot of people, you know, we're 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 going back to this again. Independent. That he that a lot of people truly thought that. Well, you know, like uh, again, back to the mail. You know, there were a lot of people who probably who had no idea that this happened. Right, right. Yeah, if you, if you were if you were uh, not living like in uh, was it Philadelphia? Yep. At the time, if you if you lived in uh, New Amsterdam, i.e., New York, you know, and. 
a bunch of a bunch of uh, dignitaries signed this document in Philadelphia on the second, you know, of July in 1776. You probably didn't have a clue for at least freaking about a week, you know. Yeah. Like, and you, and even then, you know, a lot of people were probably the king. Oh, hail the king! And you're just like, bro, right. this this is America now, motherfucker. Yeah, this is America, <laughs> bitch. Like, we're we're doing things our way. Yep. Um, number twelve. Although a na- although an official national census was not completed until 1790, the U.S. Census Bureau estimates that there were only 2.5 pe- 2.5 million people living in America in 76 when the Declaration of Independence was signed. Which is still a lot of people for that time. Oh yes, there's a lot, a lot of people for that time. Yes, it is. Do you know because even then, okay, so the you know thirteen colonies were pretty much the whole eastern board of the United States, right? Uh, so if you look at those, if you look at the population of the East Coast now, it's not very surprising uh-huh. that there were that many people living on that side of the country during that time. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely, because two point five million people in is is a couple blocks in New York City, so right, right. You know, you know, you need to put that into perspective. Um, two thousand seventeen, three hundred twenty-five million people were on the census in the United States. So that's that's awesome. That that's a big number. Uh, yes, this it is. this one I actually knew and. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on a whim and say that you actually know this one because this is actually part of the U.S. flag code. How many okay. of you own a flag t-shirt, beach towel, shorts, headband, or any other item that representative of the U.S. flag? It turns out that you are in violation of the U.S. flag code. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this, is a re- this is a real thing if you do not know this. And this is something that I learned a few years ago while I was in. Uh, the U.S. flag code states that you are in violation if you sell or display any article of merchandise upon which have been printed, painted, attached, or otherwise placed a represent- representation of the flag in order to advertise, call attention to, decorate, mark, or distinguish the article or substance on which so placed. That being said, in this instance, the flag code is not enforced or even enforceable, so don't worry, you won't get arrested by the flag police. But right. do know that... It, it, you, you, you shouldn't do it. Well, and and this is a, and this is the thing that goes all the way back. We're talking probably, if not the revolutionary era, era very shortly thereafter, because when we started having parades and parties and picnics for the Fourth of July to celebrate the anniversary of our independence, people have been doing this for hundreds of years in our country. Our country is very young on the world stage. We're only two hundred forty-five years old today. But people have been doing and making flag flag related stuff, you know, the, the stars and stripes or red, white and blue or whatever. They've been doing that like literally since like the 1800s. Yeah, it's been going on for a long, long time. So don't feel bad if you've got your uh, your ranger, your ranger panties in uh, with the uh, stars and stripes, you know, like as, as the uh, theme or whatever. Yeah, don't worry about it. Like, nobody's coming after you. Yeah. And no, and, no, and, no, and, no, and no one's going to bitch at you about it either. No, you know I'm no. not. I'm not going to be like, take that fucking hat off. You're in violation yeah, of the no, flag. You know anybody, anybody, that, anybody that throws a fit over that, like, clearly forgot like their childhood and like growing up and like where like everything was like American flag themed. Yeah, you know I mean nobody's going to come after you. For also, that. Deshaun Meyer said also altering the flag colors is a violation, which is also very true. Correct. That is correct. That is also so very all true. The, all the, Yes, it is. But uh, again, not very enforceable, and nobody's really going to do anything about it. Which is why yeah. you see everything that you see on any given day. Like somebody's got bumper stickers or whatever of yeah. whatever their alteration of the flag is. Like, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, this is mind blowing. On the f- within five hours of each other on the fiftieth anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Let me let me stop you right there. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died. Yes, they did. Yes, they yes, did. I knew that one. I knew that one. I knew, yeah, both both John, but our our second president, John Adams, and our third president, Thomas Jefferson, died within hours of each other on the 50th anniversary on July 4th. Uh, would that be 1826? Yep. 1826. 1826. That that is Go. it. I I did not know that. That's actually very interesting and a, yeah. a really interesting part of American history, right there. 
Yes. Yes. And if you guys haven't seen, um, you know, if you guys haven't seen John Adams on HBO, I think. I think it was on HBO. Um, Paul Giamatti plays John Adams, and they have a great cast. Uh, older show. Check it out. Really I good. Need to see that. I need to see that. I, I could totally see him playing John Adams. Holy yeah. crap. He did, he, did a, he did a good job. He did a good job, too. They That John Adams show was... was I don't think... He's, He's he's one of the founding fathers of our country, but he's also very unheralded. Yeah, like he really like he kind of got like I don't want to say he got lost in history. He got he kind of slips between the cracks of like Washington, Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin. Yep. you know some, some of like the, the more the more big name founding fathers that everybody likes to you know cite their sources and use as examples for this or that. John Adams is definitely very unheralded. He's in that conversation. Yeah. Oh, he's. Been, not only should he be part of the conversation, he was he was one of the heavy hitters. He was one of the heavy hitters, and people don't realize that because he he kind of just gets he slips between the uh, the cracks uh, when when the history of the uh, of the revolution uh, comes up. Basically, he slips between the cracks like quite often. So, yep. but yeah, he was our second he was our second president right after right after Gen- uh, General Washington, and then uh, Thomas Jefferson succeeded him. But they they both ended up dying on the same exact day. In uh, 1826, 50 years, 50 years after the founding of our country. That's so. very interesting. And our last, but not least, July 4th was not deemed a federal holiday until 1870, 96 years after the nation was founded. So basically, you just had to party the night before and shoot up some fireworks and go right back to the fields the next morning, right? Yep, yep. Right. yep. There was no day off. There was no, you know... No, no hot, no hot dogs. You know, I mean, you might have had a hot dog, but no, no. You just you got to go back to work the next day. So I hope, uh, hope you didn't tie one off last night to celebrate, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah, man. Before we get to the final thoughts, do you want to hit those predictions real quick? Yeah. So let me look up. Let me look up the card. I'm only gonna make. I'm only gonna make probably two or three legit predictions here. And I got. You know which one I have a problem with. You know exactly which one I have a problem with. Yeah. That's that's the, the the main the main event is the one that I have a big problem with right now because we had this we had this we had the same exact conversation the last time they fought and it's gonna it's hard this is gonna be a hard one to so let me get into let me get into a couple of the other fights real quick okay Sean O'Malley is fighting a very unheralded fighter smart money is on O'Malley and yeah. he's gonna put him away quick. The fighter, the fighter that Sean O'Malley is fighting, came in on extremely short notice. His, his record, the, the opponent's record, is nine and four. So this guy took a fight. This guy took a fight on like three days' notice. Yeah, he doesn't so even have. Betting, he doesn't even have an yeah. official photo. No, he does not. So if if you if, if you're a betting man or a betting woman, uh, smart money in that fight obviously is going to be Sean O'Malley. You're not going to get very good odds on it because he is going to be heavily favored. So don't expect to make a lot of money on it. But you'd be if you're going for a trifecta, uh, Sean O'Malley is pretty much a gimme fight. That's a gimme fight. Yeah. Okay. So you're 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 gonna win. You're gonna win your money back on that fight. Yeah, and, and almost almost assuredly. Yeah, and I have almost I have absolutely nothing to add to that. I'm a huge Sean O'Malley fan. I I, I stick with him all the time. He's a huge gamer. He's a huge yep. gamer. He's a likable person. He's a humble dude and a fantastic fighter. So it really is. Yeah, your smart money is on Sean Sean O'Malley. Now the Okay, for heavyweights, we got uh, Tai Tuivasa and Greg Hardy. Uh, uh, smart, smart money is going to be on Tuivasa. Absolutely. Now here's the, here, here's the problem with this Har- prediction. Hardy is is very unpredictable. It, and they're heavyweights. They're heavyweights. So you smart money, smart money is going to be on Tuivasa, but don't forget it's a heavyweight fight. One punch. Yeah, one you're punch going down. Fight. Yeah, and and yeah, and you know, the fight, so. let's and and Greg Hardy, you know, Greg Hardy was a, I believe he was a full, an NFL player at one point too. So the, he he could take a hit, he could take a hit. Yeah. Fantastic fighter, but when he when he when he when he, when he gets hit, he he goes down. Um, yes, you know, it, it happened. It happened very very much recently. He's a great fighter. I'm I'm very, you know, again, the smart money is to Ivasa, but you know, I'm going for Greg Hardy. But again. He is also be, gonna, very he, unpredictable because he. I'm going to say I'm going to say Tuivasa on that fight, but I'm also not going to be eating humble pie if if Hardy wins because I did I did yeah. 
I have the disclaimer up that uh, it's a heavyweight <laughs> fight, and one punch, one punch into the fight, and those every time. You know, when are we going to see? When are we going uh, like, to see? I'm sorry, go ahead. When are we going to see Ngannou again, man? I, I need, I need, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for him again. There's, you know what? You know what? Let's save that conversation for next week because yeah. I got a big bone. I got a big bone to pick with the UFC right now. Big giant bone to pick with the UFC, and, and we and we have brought it up on this podcast before. The, the exact tone of that conversation. So we'll save that one for next week after after the results are in. So, but um, Gilbert Burns and Stephen Thompson. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know who I'm picking. I know who I'm picking. Who are you picking? <sighs> So Stephen Thompson, smart fighter, mm-hmm. very smart fighter. Gilbert Burns, very strong and strong and fast. Uh huh. Um, you know what? I I I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Gilbert. He's he's on, he's on the hot run right now. He. Ooh, I like- I like this. I like this because I got I got Wonder Boy. Yeah, I you know um, Gilbert Burt. You know he he lost the only loss that he's taken recently is to is to Usman. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He he's got power. He's humble. He's ready to fight. He's hungry. Wonder Boy's hungry as hell too. He's hungry as hell too. But I like I like Burns. I like Burns. Here's, here's my here's my prediction for the fight. It's going to be it's going to go. Uh, it's the co-man. It's going to go to a decision, and Wonder Boy is going to get the decision. That is going to be that's my. I don't. I very rarely will make a, a prediction like that for a UFC fight, based on both fighters, and especially based on Stephen Thompson, who I'm picking to win. I believe Thompson is going to make it a points fight, and he's going to take it to a decision. So that's my prediction for that fight. That's that. I could see that. I could definitely see that going into decision. Now, now let's do the hard one. And it's only hard. And it's only hard because of one of the participants. <laughs> one of the participants being Conor McGregor. So this one is a hard one for me to pick because we made we made we made all of our predictions uh, on their last fight in January, and we were both dead wrong. We were dead fucking wrong, especially with how it ended. So that makes the third fight coming a short six months later even harder to predict because. McGregor's still McGregor, and I have to assume Poirier hasn't lost a step. But what we've seen with McGregor is every time he loses, he comes back with something a little bit different. Every time. He comes back with something Every time he's lost or every time he's taken a step back, he's come back with a new ballgame. So is McGregor going to come back with a new ballgame, or is he going to get his lights put out like he did in January? Your prediction, John. All right, so Dustin Poirier... Another one who's on fire right now. He's got the hot sauce. He's always in the gym. He's always learning something new. He's always watching tape. He 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 is everything that personifies what a UFC champion is right now. Everything. Conor McGregor comes back with it with a new plan every time. When he came back and got caught when and defeated the Cowboy, he used that shoulder thing you know too bad he couldn't get Khabib because I honestly feel like he would have given him a challenge now he's going back to his third Poirier fight third Poirier fight we're going one on one this is going to be the last time that I'm going to be putting my heart and soul into believing in Conor McGregor and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm believing in him for this last time because since his la- the last Poirier fight and going into now, if you go on his, his Twitter, his Instagram accounts, he is in the gym all the fucking time. He is in there all the fucking time. Is it for show? I don't think so. Because this man loves to work out. Look at the guy. Look at the guy. Yeah. If 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 he doesn't if he doesn't do a leg pump in one day, he's probably having a heart attack. You know, the guy loves right. to train. He loves he but what he also loves to do is win. And he and he also loves to talk to the media after he wins. Right. So right. I see this going to I see this going definitely going to decision. Really? I see this going I see this going into decision. 
and I see McGregor. I see McGregor taking it. I see McGregor taking a very, very humble, grateful win that night. Okay, okay, I like that. I am going to. I'm going to defer. Uh, I'm going to defer to you on this on this prediction because I am literally like, you know, f- flip a coin, and I will give you reasons that either fighter will win on, on yeah. this coming Saturday. I don't. I do not. I do not have a solid prediction on this. So if you if you want to do your trifecta, I've got Wonder Boy, Tuivasa, and Sean O'Malley for your trifecta. Do not ask me about the main event because I have no fucking yeah. clue. That is my final answer on that one. I have zero clue. This I, could, is... I could flip a coin. I could flip a coin and give you a hundred reasons Poirier is going to take it, and I could flip that same coin and give you another hundred reasons why McGregor will take it. So, but I agree. I do agree with you though that this is this will probably be if especially if he loses, if McGregor loses this fight, his 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 MMA career. It's going to be money matches. It's yeah, never, he's never he's never going to go for another belt. Like this is the this will be the end of his official championship run. Like yeah. whatever, outside of making outside of making money matches. Because if he loses this fight, I mean, I don't, he's I got don't, nowhere to go. yeah, I don't see, and I don't see him going to another company either because he just has he's no, he's too no, loyal no. to Dana and stuff like that. So absolutely, absolutely. So if but if he but if he wins, you know they're going to give him whatever the fuck he wants. You know? Yeah, I, and you know what? You predictions, predictions, and simulation of these fights on UFC four and live stream. Yes, you can. Uh, that's actually totally legal. You just, uh, you know, you have to you just have to talk over it, uh, Deshaun, and uh, we could probably do that. I don't know if me and John might be able to do that. Sometimes. We we we, we 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 could probably have audio, but that's about it. If it's on UFC four, if it's on oh UFC, on the game, oh you know what simulation. That, simulation. Oh, that could work. Do we? Do you have? Do you have UFC four? I do. I I'm gonna download it today. Okay. So I'm, Deshaun, I think we got you covered, man. We'll do that on. Uh, we'll get. We'll get to. Do? Do, you wanna, do like on uh, Wednesday or Thursday? We could def. We could definitely do that. Hey, I. I. I'm on I, vacation. I work. I'm on I, vacation. I got got all the time in the world. I, right I, I I I apparently I'm a corporate morning shift guy now. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, but yeah, man. Um. We're at the we're at the final thought. Um, I think you take it this week. I think. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Bef- yeah. Before. Um, go ahead. Oh yeah. Before we Sorry. hit that, um, next week we're going to be talking about swatting, and we have a special game. I was gonna it, it, I was gonna have it ready this week, but there, there, there's a lot in this game that I need to figure out. Um, but the game that me and Jay are going to be, well, actually, Jay is going to be playing next week, is called, is it a sex position or a gamer tag? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we didn't get to that today, did we? So, yeah. you know, the, the, there's still, the, you know, there's a whole list of stuff that, that could only be qualified <laughs> answers. So make sure you guys uh, come by next week for that. We're also going to be talking about swatting next week. Um, swatting has become become a very difficult issue in in the gaming world right now and um that that'll be fun to talk about but yeah man absolutely take the wheel all right so um another uh, another week has gone by and hope you guys all had a good one and at the end of the day we want everybody to have a good week ahead and a lot of times we have these holiday weekends even a nice long holiday weekend and maybe you've you've been in service and you're a veteran and maybe sometimes on these holiday weekends, maybe it feels a little bit bittersweet. Uh, I want to encourage everybody, uh, reach out to some loved ones, family, friends, whoever you're surrounded with, go to your local watering hole and you know, hang out with, uh, with, with, the, with the guys and gals there if, if, you need stuff, if you need to be around somebody. I also want to encourage everybody to be very safe and responsible when you are imbibing uh, in this particular uh, drug, being alcohol. Um, Nothing good happen. Nothing good happens after midnight when that drug is involved, and a lot of times uh, you get you get caught up in the moment, and it's you're having a great time out and about or with your family and friends, and you don't want the night to end. But then when the night's over and you're sitting there alone in your bedroom at two, two thirty, three o'clock in the morning, and the thoughts start racing, make sure to keep your phones on. Um, if you are a family member, a loved one, or a fellow veteran. Uh, keep your phone on so that when you get a phone call at 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah, it might rustle you out of some sleep right there and you might be a little irritated, but answer your phones. 
Uh, the people don't people don't call other people for no reason at two thirty or three o'clock in the morning. They're reaching out, uh, even if they just want to hear somebody's voice. It's not even necessarily a bad thing. It could just be they just want to hear somebody's voice. You know, they want to hear a friendly voice and be attached to somebody on the other end, and that's okay. Make sure that you you use you use the phone. It's better for me to get a phone call at three o'clock in the morning than get a phone call at nine o'clock that morning, uh, finding out that somebody did something they can't take back. Um, me and John have experienced it. I know a lot of our fellow veterans, especially in this community, have experienced it, getting that phone call and finding out that that uh, a fellow brother or sister has uh, crossed over the uh, threshold to the next realm. And it's, it's, it's very hard to talk about it sometimes, but we bring it up every week because we want to encourage you guys to always, always reach out for help if you, if you need help. Um, I say it all the time in this podcast, I've been seeing a therapist for about the last two years. I'm proud to admit that I see a therapist. Okay, I needed somebody, I needed something else in my life. Uh, stuff wasn't going really well, it wasn't going right. I don't wanna say I was really suicidal per se, but I was having a lot of issues. I was having a lot of problems in my personal life and I needed that emotional outlet, that vent. And if you are a veteran, contact your local VA, uh, go to your local American Legion, uh, VFW, find people that share your experiences and just talk, you know, just talk. And if you are imbibing, please imbibe responsibly. It is okay to have some beers. We want you guys to have a good time. Enjoy, have your hot dogs, have your hamburgers, you know, have dad grill the steak that he, that he always made. Whatever your family tradition is, blow some fucking shit up. Okay, make some, make some giant colorful explosions and celebrate the birth of our great nation. Okay, but just please do it responsibly. Make sure you uh, retain all 10 of your digits uh, this weekend. And um, yeah, I guess with that, uh, suicide prevention uh, hotline is 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255 if you're having any issues. Uh, thank you all very, very much for joining us. Happy, happy, happy 4th of July, the 245th birthday of our great nation. So enjoy your holiday and we will see you next time. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Jay. Oh!